this is pretty exciting because um, I'm going back to basics and a lot of clients from even 20 years ago, um, there was so much great stuff that I taught and we need that foundation now. So I'm just sending my love while, while we're waiting here for a few minutes, I'm just um, sending a wave. So you might want to open your heart so you can really feel that. And all right. I think we'll start. So welcome to Energy Works. And Energy Works is kind of the next step from, you know, it all starts with awareness, what are, you're aware of. And from awareness, it goes to attention, kind of where your attention is, where your attention gets placed. And with attention, you know, it starts to move energy. And then there is that next step of mindfulness. And the step after that is energy works. And that is this method that um, is an original to what I do and kind of the loop behind me. So tonight we're going to be working three steps. Hi, hi, Kimber. Thanks for joining. Um, we're going to be working three steps. We're going to be looking at space and why space is so important in this time and the awareness of what is in that space. And also what are we doing with our attention because where our attention goes, our energy flows, but more importantly, if we leave our attention outside of our space, then it gets filled with things that we may not want. And this is where we start to feel anxious or feel anxiety. Know that when you feel anxious, it means that there is somebody else's energy in your space. When we have our space, you can um, kind of identify or just think about space like a fish bowl, a fish swimming in its bowl. We have this bubble around us. When we focus on the heart, it creates our bubble. And we could look at that like a fish bowl or a swimming pool. And when we have our space, we're able to swim, able to move. We feel free. Miracles happen. We feel excited about life with lots of movement. But when we don't have our space, it's like we're fish in the silt or in the mud, feel weighed down. If our fish tank is filled up with, you know, algae where we can't really move and we're just kind of sitting in the space, then we start to decay. Nothing happens. We feel depressed. We feel like there's no freedom, no space. So the first part kind of in teaching energy works, I have a daily practice and I'll put in the link below of a practice that you can do daily. But tonight we're only going to talk about space because today I got calls and all my calls were about people are ready to kill each other <laughs> being in the same space. That That's not funny, but, um, got to have some humor here, <laughs> but it's hard because, you know, think about it. We're living in fish bowls and in these fish bowls, in these containers, um, the space is not empty. This space that I'm in, the space in between the walls, the space in between me and you, it's not empty. There is air, but I want you to just notice and be aware that the air, the energy in this space, there is energy in it and there is information. So when you're in your fishbowl, you could be swimming around, having a good time. And then all of a sudden, maybe your partner comes in and they are in a foul mood. And then all of a sudden you start to absorb like SpongeBob, you become the sponge and start to absorb kind of that black energy. And then you feel anxious and all of a sudden your mood changes and then you start to get restricted. And then you're in the coping strategy of fight, flight, 
freeze or pleasing. So you then, you know, change your mood based on kind of the other person's vibration and what they brought to that space. So now that we are in our homes, in our spaces, and a lot of times with different people, or even if you're living in a, a space with by yourself, the space is not empty. There is energy in that space and there is information in that space. And it's very important for us to be aware of what is the energy in the space because we can set the space, we can change the space and we can transform that space. But the first part is to be aware without even trying to change it, kind of, you know, just identifying what is in the space. It's like, it's like the ocean may seem calm. It looks peaceful. A person can be smiling at you, but the undertow, the current, the energy you feel can feel like a threat or just feel closed hearted. Your body starts to respond to that energy in the space. So tonight we're, we're going to do some energy work. I'm going to give you a healing also, and we're going to talk about these different concepts and then work the energy. So I'd like you to just, first of all, close your eyes. And even just before you focus on your breath, I want you to be aware of what's in your space. Just notice the feeling, the vibration. If you're in a fishbowl, just do you have a lot of movement? Is the water clean and clear? Or are you a little pissed off? Do you feel angry or short tempered? There may be a lot of different energies in the fishbowl, in your tank. And don't try to change it, just notice it. And notice if you're a fish, but you're stuck in the swamp. If you can hardly move, or you only have one fin, like Nemo. Feel if the energy in the space feels heavy, especially after that full moon. A lot of people felt anxiety, a lot of energy, because it was such a big moon, the biggest moon of the year. And there's some residue. There's a lot of energy that's releasing. And when energy starts to release and come out of your space, it feels like that's a reality. When energy releases, you must let it go, as opposed to think that this is the new reality. So just be aware of the kind of water you're swimming in. What's the information in that space? Do you have hope? Maybe trust that you're going to have a new life? Seeing new opportunities? Kind of, what are you looking at in that space? And just to change the space, we must place our awareness in our heart. The heart is the great transformer. It's like a filter. And when we place our attention there, we can move kind of these irritants, these pains through this filtration system and start to clean and clear our bubble our fishbowl. I want you to focus your attention, your awareness 
which is like a light right in the center of your heart so that you see it as a brilliant diamond and start to focus on your breath as you inhale for three counts and hold it and then exhale for four counts out of your mouth. So inhale for three through your nose, hold it and exhale four counts out your mouth. And as I'm talking, I want you to inhale anywhere in your bubble that there is an off or dark energy, maybe a black energy, and bring it through the heart and exhale and purify it into this clear blue clarity where your water becomes clean and clear. And start to inhale even kind of maybe anything that is lit up around your career or job, or maybe you want to make a change. Something's not quite working. Just inhale and allow the heart to transform it, to purify it, to bring you out of the swamp, out of the mud so you could be swimming in clear waters. And as you move, maybe an irritant, especially since everyone was kind of fighting today with people in their spaces, maybe clear that anger or frustration and move it through the heart to reset that and transform it at clear communication where you're committed to focusing your attention on your heart. There is only one person that is important and that is you focusing on you. Notice when you place your attention on your heart and breathe what you don't want through the heart, the water becomes crystal, it becomes vibrant, and start to feel that you have more movement. It's kind of like a sewage dump. We are breathing in this sewage, kind of all this crap and purifying it, transforming it. It's like, you know, with osmosis, just beautiful, clear energy, light and bright. Continue to, I'm watching everyone as they are transforming, especially around the bottom of the fish tank, the bottom of the chakras, the lower three chakras, the energy gets dense and thick. Start to breathe kind of in the energy of that lower chakra, the first chakra of where maybe your foundation has been rocked. Everyone's foundation has been rocked and transform that through your breath, through the heart, in this new foundation where everything grows and thrives. We've got miracles happening. I'm seeing miracles every day, but it's a choice now. And so we have to focus kind of like the attention goes on what we don't want a lot of times, what's releasing the pain, keep filtering it, bringing it up, moving it through that heart. Allow the heart to just purify it. It's with ease. It's with your breath. And especially in that second chakra, which is like a finger, two fingers under the belly button, that sacral, start to just breathe up kind of any energies there connected to your immune system, to your health. Maybe in this time, you know, especially because we, it's hard to, we've been maybe working out, but we've been overeating or just doing things to check out, just start to breathe whatever addictions 
that you have coming up. Breathe it through the heart. The heart will make it a clear blue, kind of that turquoise green energy. And start to feel moving in your space, what that feels like. Swimming in the beautiful seas. It's so clear and beautiful, like in Hawaii. And then focus on your third chakra, kind of your solar plexus, and start to breathe in, maybe where you've been in a lot of effort, or you're trying to figure out your life, and you're trying to do it with will. And in this time, nothing will be created with your will. So just inhale all of that and move it through the heart. That's the lower swamp. And the good thing about the swamp is that it has fertile soil and energy, which when, when we move it through the heart, it can birth into a lotus, into a beautiful flower that is open, that's receiving this light glistening. And just place your your awareness kind of in this beautiful fishbowl, in your swimming pool. And start to notice if there is any leaks or holes in this fish tank. Your fish tank's about three and a half feet around you. And I want you to just pull maybe everyone's bubble is a little too far out. Just pull it in. And as you define that space, kind of the edge of the space, place your awareness and just create kind of a light white, kind of a golden white around the fishbowl. When you define your space, then you know the edge of your space. You know where your space begins and where it ends. And to change the way we feel in our body, that we're vibrating, we must know this edge of the space and we must set space. So take a deep breath and just open your eyes for a moment. And I wanna talk about this next concept about attention. And if you have an object close by, if you don't, no problem. But I want to show you with an object so um, you can understand what happens with our attention. So we're aware of our space. The way to change it, move the energy through the heart and it creates this beautiful blue space or whatever color you want to set it at. The next thing we want to do to change and create kind of miracles in our space is we have to know what our attention is doing. And I just want to, I have my energy balls here, uh, what I want, what I don't want. <laughs> and what our mind does is this, our mind um, will drive our attention out of our space. So where our attention goes, my energy will go right to where my attention is. And what happens is, think about it. What is your attention on during the day? Is it on, I need to go to the store. I need to clean my house. It's, it's different now. I need to clean my house, do the laundry, go to the store, or I need to go to work. I have all these things I need to do. So the attention is always going out. Our attention goes out. And when it stays out, what happens is, you know, it could even be thinking about a person and uh, maybe somebody you like, really like, somebody you don't like, somebody that's irritated you, you know, and, and with even our partners in our homes, you know, we're focused on them, our attention's on them. And when your attention is on someone, what happens is, is that they became, become the source of your energy. So if my attention is on you, 
then my energy is going to go over to you and your energy is going to come in me or your energy may be somewhere else. But what I've done is I just abandoned my space. That means I have holes in my swimming pool. I've drained my energy out. And notice when you feel fearful or when you have anxiety, where is your attention? Just ask, where is my attention? And now we're going to close our eyes and you can even do this um, with an object. I, I find it's helpful because what happens is when I'm um, healing people, when I'm clearing people, what I'm clearing is people's pictures because their attention and their energy kind of create a picture. And I see these pictures out in their space of what they're trying to create. And if your attention is, I, I want to create this out in the future, you can't really create it if your attention gets stuck out here. It'll always be in the future. And if you don't bring it back into your heart, then you have depleted your swimming pool. You don't have enough of your energy. And if you are empty, space never remains empty. So if your glass is empty, guess what? Another energy will fill it up. And so this is kind of like even the virus in a sense. When our attention is all over the place and we're exhausted, then something comes in. So we must remain and we must, you know, kind of bring our attention back. We must bring our energy back because here is the thing. If your attention is in your heart, kind of on you, your light within, then you are like a diamond. Then everyone sees you. If you like someone, let's say, and your attention is over there thinking about them and wanting them to call, you're in their space. And so they can't see you because you're not in your own space. So when we commit and just find, find our attention, bring it home, fill our space up, then we can create miracles. So just close your eyes. And you can even um, grab an object if you want, or just even imagine it. And just, I want you to let your attention go and see where it flows. Does it go to wanting to create a new future? Maybe something around work? Just notice where it goes. Notice how much of your energy is over there trying to create that reality from zero to a hundred percent. Is it 5%? It's like a scale. Feel how heavy kind of how much energy and how many times maybe a day do you think about that thing? Does your attention go there? And then I want you to just let your attention go somewhere else. What else do you think about? Maybe what you need to make for dinner? About what you need to do tomorrow? And see how much energy that has. And just feel what your space feels like, your fishbowl, with that energy outside of your space. And I want you to notice how far did it go out from your center, which is your heart. And maybe just think about something that you haven't resolved, something that's kind of an irritant. And just notice how far outside of your space is that? And what's the percentage? Now just kind of look at in a day, 
Where does your attention go? What pulls your attention? Well, now there's a lot of social media, but I don't need your attention. Your attention now, you're working your attention, and the goal is your attention is within. Our attention's always going to go without, so we're just being aware. And it's okay because everyone's attention goes out. There's no problem. And so if you think about it, it's like woof, attention out because that's what the mind does. It drives our energy out. It kind of creates abandonment within our space, but that's okay. Because in order to create, we have to move out of our space into a different field of energy, into a different place. But when we move to something on the horizontal world, maybe it's all the media, maybe it is our attention, just mindlessly going to the news. Just notice, you know, kind of feel on a scale, black and white, how much does your attention go to what's negative, what's depressing, people's problems, and how much of your attention goes to miracles, seeing opportunities. Do you know that this time, it is the most fertile time because it is an ending. And if we are looking for the opportunities, for the possibilities, this is miracle. Like I want your attention there, but we're just noticing for now, kind of where your attention goes. And it's not to judge ourselves. We want to be very kind to ourselves, very kind. So what I want you to do now is it's about training kind of our mind will drive the energy out. So now just see that first thought, where does my energy go? See where it goes, identify it. Now, even with your hand, or you can just do this with your intention, focus on your heart and when you focus on your heart it pulls the energy back and then just imagine like a sponge you squeeze it you bring your energy back and you fill up like a spongebob and so move it out to maybe something you're trying to create you want to create a new reality new clients new business Move it out, see how far it goes. Focus on your heart. And then the heart creates this loop. And then just squeeze it out. And you can feel kind of just move, create that movement, or even just do it with your mind. The energy moves out with the mind and your heart pulls it back. What happens is this every time you move out and when i think of it sometimes my attention stays out all day and then i'll just boom drop in it comes back right away and we want to shorten the distance between kind of how far our attention goes and we always know if it goes too far kind of outside this bubble territory our boundary we start dropping our energy we start feeling anxious so it means oh i'm outside my field kind of redefine your field, focus on the heart, and the energy starts to move. Now focus on maybe something, notice if you've been focusing on something negative, what you don't want, and just see where you located that. Where is it at? Typically it's on the passive side, the left side, and then drop into your heart and just bring it back. And just feel that kind of movement coming back. So this is why I have Dexter <laughs> because, you know, or I have, I call it a spirit guide dog. So what I'll do is this because energy work is in the moment. So these tools, you don't have to meditate all day long. There are tools to kind of break certain energetic patterns. So if I find myself depleted or getting, you know, just exhausted or drained, I say, I'll call Dexter, my energy guide dog and my real dog, bring back my energy. 
and just saying, bring back my energy, bring it back. Because dogs will always, not all dogs, but some dogs, Dexter dog. <laughs> some people use Dexter. Some of my clients use Dexter's, get my energy, bring it back. Find it, bring it back. Go find it and bring it back. Because they can sniff out where you've left your energy. And what happens is, is that a lot of times when we have pain, when we um, have just things that are unconscious, we can't, we don't have access to that energy. So I will always kind of ask energetically, go, go, I, go find it and then bring it, kind of loop it through my heart so I have more energy to create with. Because if you are hitting a block, if you feel stuck, if you're trying to push through your will, you're not going to get anywhere. What you have to do is kind of just say, all right, it's a great detective, your attention. Attention, go find it. The attention actually always knows where your energy's at because it keeps going there. So when your attention goes, it means that your energy is kind of stuck out there. And so we just bring it back on the heart. And even movement, like a body movement is so important because it's like my energy goes, it comes back, energy goes, it comes back. So just even like I move out, I move back just a few times. And what will happen is it trains kind of the flow of energy. It trains your attention, your heart will pull it back. And I want you to feel the tide go out. See, the heart ebbs and flows. The heart will pull it back. Why energy work changes things is because it is the movement. When we're that fish stuck, nothing changes. So what we're learning here is if my attention is, you know, on a project and if I pull it back to my heart now I can access the energy and every time I move through this cycle every time I'm moving it through my heart what happens is it changes it transforms it's a journey and every time I'm moving it's it seems like it's the same journey beginning middle in but it is this movement where you transform. So I want you to just focus on your heart like a magnet. And I want you to call your energy back, energy come back. Dexter, go get my energy. See, I don't really think about it, just command it. Go get my energy. Go get my energy back. Go find those energy balls. <laughs> and I want my big balls. <laughs> Go find them. Bring that energy in. Fill me up. And when you're calling your energy back, just imagine like a sponge squeezing it, releasing it, filling up your fish tank. So the first step was awareness, what's in my space, just identifying it. And the more you can identify it, the more you can tune into vibration. The second step is where did my attention go? And how we can bring it back is moving in our heart. What the heart does, it is a wave. It's like sound waves move in a wave. The loop behind me, it's wave energy. So when our heart is constricted, we have very choppy energy. That's vibration. When we open the heart, we open to its wisdom. The waves become like the waves behind me, rolling waves. The waves move out, the waves move back. And in this time, it's so important to, we'll always be in the mind, but continually kind of drop in and allow the energy to move out 
and back because the head will want to drive attention and energy out and then you'll feel depleted. So drop in and just start to notice the wave and feel the wave go out to the edge of your fishbowl and feel the wave come back. Now let's set the heart at a frequency. It's like a gong. Set the heart at joy. Kind of focus on your breath and let that wave move out. And as it hits the edge of the space, really open the heart and receive joy that you are swimming in joy. And just feel that vibration of peace. Tune into that in your heart. Your heart is so intelligent that just you ask it, tune into peace as a frequency. It's a different wave. It's a longer, smoother wave. And at the edge of the kind of fishbowl, it's like a diamond, it's like a mirror. It reflects it back so then you can receive the peace. We're getting, in a way, um, people are fighting because, you know, even if we give out love, we may get back anger. And so when you set your space up so that you move out, it's kind of like these they are diamonds out here and they are moving this energy back to you then you can be insulated that you're in your bubble you're in your feel-good bubble and you're just swimming in it and vibrating in it i want you to feel kind of especially with this lower emotions coming up the pain it's okay allow it to just move through the heart and allow your heart set your heart at forgiveness to forgive yourself for even not being perfect. Allow yourself to be right where you're at. And we are all changing. We are all growing. And we are physically are going to be changing. And we have to be very kind. And just have this acceptance Feel the vibration of acceptance as you move it out and then move it back. And I want you to imagine in your heart, tune into that vibration of peace. And I want you to no, tune into the vibration of just healing. You're already healed. Like wellness, true wellness, care, like self-love and care. And place all your attention in your heart. And as your attention is here, I want you to expand out and imagine it's like the Big Bang where creation came and started to expand and allow the self-love and care to expand out in your room, in your home, in your town, in the next city, across America, across Ireland, across Bulgaria, across Italy, China, all around the world, self-love and care as this big bang is moving and expanding and then it goes to the edge of the universe in the stars and galaxy and then it comes back contracts back and is reflected this huge wave where you were open and receiving this love this care and feel yourself vibrating like a star. 
Feel that brilliant diamond light. And from the center with your attention, that light of awareness, I want you to just open your crown and feel source's light coming down this ray of white and gold light as it cleans and purifies your fishbowl and as it moves in your heart it is filling and charging your bones it is if our heart in a way we are made of carbon it is that coal it is changing any dark spots any energy dark energy into this brilliant diamond that you are that diamond light and allow this living light to just emanate as this big bang expands where you are the source of energy and power and feel it move to the edge of the universe expanding and creating this new reality and I want you to see your new story abundance love where you are just integrated truthful whole that it is just coming out of you and affecting and moving through everything that the world we live in is greater whole where we are connected in this light communication and activation and co-creation and allow the living light to co-create with you and feel that energy just coming back from the universe from the stars and reflecting to you the brilliant diamond that you are. And anywhere where there is dark within, the light will win. This is the time even in the calendar where the light wins. Allow that light to eradicate any negative thoughts or disease or virus see within your tissues there are crystals within our tissues that these little diamonds are activated that the wave light it's like the sunlight moves in waves and this infinity loop these figure eight loops are moving down in these wave patterns creating this balance and this harmony where the sun is making you into something new. You are growing into this new diamond light. And just release and ground into the earth, this diamond light as you let go of your old life as you let go of the energies maybe in your home or in the space the still energy the energy that you've been swimming in too long the algae and like a bathtub plug you unplug that first chakra and the heart and just allow it to drop out and let go you may feel things coming out of you but just watch it and let go and watch that light moving down into the planet into the crystal there is a huge crystal now the earth changed it didn't have this huge crystal before and now it does and now with the diamonds in the sky the stars in the sky and our heart is turning into a diamond 
we are turning into this light so we are communicating with light and allow this energy just to move into the planet we want to be connected to source and to mother earth when you're connected to mother earth and source what happens is my relationship my primary relationship is with mother earth and source and dexter <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> i do love my husband but <laughs> um so if i am placing my awareness and attention down in the earth mother earth comes up in me mother earth is me this is my body this is my form and the easiest way to transform in this time of kind of death of ending cycles we have a new beginning place your attention down immediately if i move my energy into her she's moving it into me and then we allow that to come up and through us into form into a new form when you place your attention on the light on source then you become that light and source comes in you that when you open the wisdom of the heart form and no form merge within the heart and where they merge energy starts to come out and release and this is the portal the heart is the portal for your new life to be born you are looking here because it is here of there's my miracle we don't know what the miracle is but we are looking in this space from no form source and form the earth to what will be born from form to no form what will be born so when we're in our homes and spaces you can open your eyes we have a choice and the choice is where is my attention it is on source it is on mother earth it is in my heart and let's commit because it's about agreement let's commit to have our attention within when it's within center the heart's wisdom opens grace comes in and we can birth something from form to no form something new is born when you here's another trick when you um, have a fight with someone you can hook them up to a star you make them vertical fights happen because our energy starts to entangle and it is you know we just need to refocus call back our energy get our energy balls back fill up and the easiest way to fill up is first go within purify our swimming pool and then you know let's just fill up right now our fish tank with light pure light energy beautiful energy and you can imagine kind of a fountain coming up a spring and a well fresh new water oh that feels so good this energy just vertically just filling the fish tank and feel the vibration in the heart and let's just set miracles we are in a time of miracles and if we are focused here on this my clients are getting miracles they're saying you know what i don't want to talk about it because you know i want to be sensitive to people and it's a choice it's a choice we can focus on the loss in our old life we can unplug that let it go and here it is here's the light so thank you so much for um, joining me tonight on energy works and just to recap kind of what we talked about we talked about awareness kind of our fish tank and being aware of what energy and information is in that space 
And how we can just start to transform that is with our breath, breathing in through our hearts, what we don't want, what we want, and, and changing it, purifying it. And then noticing what happens when your attention moves outside of your space. And when we place all of our attention outside of our space, we become depleted. We get depressed, anxious. And then you can call your attention back, energy come back. Have Dexter, the spirit guide dog, bring, bring me back those balls, bring it back, fill me up. And once we define and set our space, we set our space with our heart by setting it at joy. It creates a wave energy. Always set your space daily at something and notice what starts to happen because you've set your space. Because if the person you're living with is setting it at grumpiness, then you're going to feel that and you may start to match it and it will affect your space. If you have this diamond fishbowl, it doesn't matter what they have it at because your energy is moving out and it's moving back. And so I, um, I am just sending my love and care and I am hoping you're doing well. I do sessions and healings remotely. I've always done it remotely. How convenient. <laughs> and it is such a miracle time, you know, and I know that people can, are feeling a lot of things, but I'm here to let you know that keep purifying it and filtering it because when you do, then it's creating your new life. And I have a donate button. So just so where there's flow or if you can't, that's fine. But so I'm sending so much love. I am thinking about doing this. Um, usually I do it at 630. And um, but I'm thinking about doing it at three. So let me know if that works. And so from my heart to your heart, in this greater whole of where our energy will ebb and flow and check out my um, site, kimbellissimo.com. I am doing a sound bath on Saturday night and on Sunday at 11 on Easter, I am doing how, how you end is how you begin. And so it is about endings and creating the new beginnings. I am, you know, um, a client of mine, I helped her father through, um, um, through a death process. This was early in January. And so we created this site called um, the door to divinity. And it is a site when, you know, and the opportunity we have here is by confronting death, by looking at death, now we can live. This is a great opportunity for us and to know how to move through this transition. This is releasing a lot of things that our culture has never confronted. And so miracles can happen because of this. So um, please look at my website to see all of the things that I'll be offering. That will be on Zoom. So um, there's a free link on Zoom and check that out. So, so many blessings. So may it be with the blessings of the loving, living light and Mother Earth that we are in the greater whole. So thank you. And if you have any questions, you can type them in the comment bar. And um, let me know. I like that I am swimming in joy and I am in my bubble. <laughs> yeah, we are going to be um, really purifying the waters here. <laughs> and anything else? Okay. Thank you so much. And um, give me a call if you need me. So many blessings. Is there anything else? I think, love you.